and girls, so it's that time again, Europa League Adventures. Ah, you remember last year, Belarus? Hopefully it's a lot easier to get to this time. Um, but I'm not so sure. We're on our way to Azerbaijan via Russia. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. This is what happens when you're in the Europa League. So come and join me and let's find out what happens on this trip. We doing this three and a half hour flight to Moscow sit in Moscow for two hours then a three and a half hour flight to Azerbaijan so we arrive local time probably around about 4 15 a.m. in Azerbaijan um, I believe they're about three hours ahead of us in England so yeah long trip welcome to the Europa League trip is done we've flown into Moscow just landed um, and literally about to get on another flight um, which is about a three and a half hour flight as well into Baku and then we are in Azerbaijan so um, probably arrive around about quarter past four in the morning local time so um, yeah I'm looking forward to it I just want to get this last leg done starting to feel it a little bit now but um, yeah I'm looking forward to it and then we get the day in Azerbaijan get to go and check out some sites do some filming and um yeah go and see how arsenal get on against carrier bag or however you pronounce it so um yeah here we go next flight in Azerbaijan and um, do you know what that has to be possibly one of the weirdest flights I've ever ever been on because um, that was mad um, halfway through the flight um, there's a woman sitting next to me she had a young daughter and um, she was struggling with like the temperature and whatnot and she passed out and um, yeah it was all panic stations midair Everything seemed to be fine. Um, she came back to her seat. Luckily, her daughter um, was asleep while this was all going on. And then just as we're coming into land, she passes out again. And it was just <sighs> madness, madness. But um, yeah, she's safe and um, she's fine. And um, everyone's landed and everyone's happy now. So yeah, we're here. It's what, four o'clock in the morning here, so I'm gonna get to my hotel and I'm gonna get some sleep. Long day ahead tomorrow.
kind of technically day two, um, one and a half sort of thing. Um, but our first full day here in Azerbaijan and it's absolutely beautiful. The weather looks amazing. Uh, I'm gonna go downstairs now, get some breakfast, absolutely starving. Um, and then we're gonna go and do some um, checking out of the sites. Gonna go to the stadium as well, gonna go and see what that's saying. Gonna go and do some videos and whatnot. Um, and then I'm gonna do some sunbathing and then I'm gonna go for some swimming. Going and enjoy my time while I'm here. So let's go and see what breakfast has to offer. So I'm currently in the center of Baku um, and first impressions, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm doing tourist things. Um, and we got one of the locals um, giving us a tour guide, taking us to all the good places. So yeah, long day ahead and I'm really looking forward to it. So weather's amazing as well, can I say. Oh, 30 odd, Whew. Lovely. Woman in England, that's for sure. That's the end of another day here in Baku. Um, I am absolutely shattered. I've had a brilliant day exploring, um, getting to see some of the sites, meeting some of the locals. And um, I'm ready for match day now. I really am. Um, I've just watched the uh, last of the Champions League matches. And um, <laughs> I love you, lads. We might be in the Europa League, but you'll be joining us soon. Don't you worry. Um, but yeah, listen, um, like I said, I'm looking forward to the game now. Um, gonna get some sleep in, get up in the morning. Um, and then yeah, got all day as well because kickoff over here is not until 9 p.m. So um, yeah, another long day, but there's uh, that little light at the end of it, which is match day. So um, yeah, I'm out of here. I will see you lot tomorrow. Match day in Baku and uh, I thought I'd go for a little stroll after the morning breakfast. As you can see, it's just absolutely beautiful around here. Could get used to this, that's for sure. But listen, match day, that's what it's all about. That's why we came here. I'm looking forward to the game this evening. Got a long wait till the game, it's like 9 p.m. local time. So, um, don't know what we're gonna do today. Probably chill out, maybe go for a spa. Maybe uh, a little bit of a relaxation. So I'm currently getting ready for match day. Sitting around the pool. It is hot. Ridiculously hot. Just been in the pool. Had a little swim. Had a race with Tao. Troops has gone inside because he's freezing. <laughs> Don't know why. It's absolutely roasting out here. Oh, and I ain't even got no sun cream. Which is why I got a towel on my head. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the game this evening. Still got a long way till kickoff, so um, bit of a different match day experience than normal. Just relaxing and enjoying it before the game tonight. So hopefully we can get the win and hopefully put a good performance in. I'm expecting a big one from the boys tonight, so we will wait and see. down into the centre um, in Azerbaijan and we actually come to an Arsenal supporters club and there's a lot of local Arsenal fans here from Azerbaijan, um, some from Iraq as well and mad love, mad crazy love and it's just like, I'll pan it around so you can actually see some of them. But they're, they're all taking their photos and stuff and it's crazy when you think how big the fan base is worldwide and you know, you wouldn't think that there were Arsenal fans in Azerbaijan and Iraq and places like this, but 
there are and they love the club and they're very passionate and they're getting the opportunity tonight to watch Arsenal a lot of them for the first time and I'm loving that loving that so yeah soon be match time and I'm looking forward to it the turnstiles after all the security checks and um, just seeing what the team is Leno is in goal holding Socrates um, at centre back Montreal left back Socrates right and um, Kalazinak looks like he's playing on the left wing so that'll be an interesting um, uh, you know selection but you've got all the big guns in reserve on the bench Welbeck's up front um, so but yeah like I said there is that insurance just in case things are going wrong so I'm really looking forward to it. This is why we come here, to watch the Arsenal. So, come on Arsenal, try not to let me down. Corner already. Doing all right. Loud in here. Loud. And they got some ultras behind the goal and they got no top top at all. Luckily, the weather's nice. Let's see what happens with this corner. Get up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. One day we're ready. Can't even see who scored it to be quite honest. One day already. Yes! Let's go on and get some more. Caravaggio got corner and I swear they celebrated it like a goal. So they do score. I dread to think what this stadium will be like because they are loud. That's what I was saying about the flanks. We're letting them get in behind. There was two on one then. Smith Rowe not tracking back on that one. Left Socrates and um, Licksteiner exposed. Oh, gotta be careful because we're getting done down the wings. Go on. Go on. Yes. Oh, it yes. oh, ain't. Side netting. Side netting. Side netting. Now Smith Rowe as well. That was unlucky. He started that move. That was really good. Everyone's celebrating around me. I can actually see it never went in. Yes. Oh, come on, Danny. You've got to do better than that. Got to do better than that. Yeah, free header, well back. Score. But do you know what? What a save from Leno. What a save. Our midfield looks so weak. We're getting overrun big time in there. And the flanks, if you can hear me. Brilliant save. We've got to be careful because we're not playing that well, to be honest. And that's if we could get a second goal. Here comes the ball. It's a poor ball, bro. Four free kick. Oh, we've got it back. We've got it back. back. I thought the ref was going to blow then. Go on, Quinn Dozy. Oh, no, don't lose it there. Don't lose it there. Now they've got the break. Look at it. Two on one again on the flank. Another save from Leno, man. It's keeping us in the game at the moment. Midfield, flanks, they're not playing. I'm telling you, Emery may well have to change this at half time. Got about six, seven minutes to go. And not been a great half at all. Let out. Oh. Should have probably done better there. It's a good attempt by Smith Rowe and then Wendozi hit straight into their wall. Ah. and it's 1-0 but that does not tell the story of the half um, to be quite honest Karabag should be winning and they should have had at least two if not three goals um, Leno saved us on a couple of occasions some poor finishing 
saved us on a couple of occasions. We're getting caught out wide. The whip is killing us. We're not covering the fullbacks. And it's the crosses in the box. So Emery needs to sort this out. The midfield is not doing its job, especially centrally either. Um, I think he may well have to bring Torreira on. Um, but yeah, we need to change things because otherwise they will come back into the game. Um, so we will wait and see what Emery does. He's not been scared to change things when it ain't going right. And um, the scoreline at the moment doesn't, you know, tell a true reflection of the game. So we will wait and see second half and uh, whether we can get the second goal and then I think things will open up. But we will wait and see. Again, we've only just started the second half. We've got to watch this. Yeah! Yeah! Get in, young son. Yes. Well done. That should be that. That should be that. Needed that second goal. Good play from Wobi. As it was just come on for Smith Rowe, and like the whole stadium's got up and applauded him and cheering him. So, yeah, I think the uh, locals of Azerbaijan love Mesut Özil. <laughs> uh, my guy. Yes, good dosi. Three 0 It's first goal for the club. Loving that. And what we got? Still over 10 minutes to go. And it's been comfortable in the end. Another good save from Leno. And uh, we got, what, about five minutes plus injury time left. Comfortable, but the um, scoreline doesn't paint a fair reflection on the game. Oh, no! Yes! Danny, well, oh, my days, well back. Seriously, well back. Yes. Oh, Mesut, come on, yes, man. Mesut. You're wondering why we're getting all tetchy come right on, now. Carabag. Me and Troops have got a bet on. Come He's on, gone for 3 0, I got 4 0. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Wait. shit. Next time. Hamble. Oh, Lacazette. Oh, it's Bendozi. Overlap. No. Overlap. Ozil. No. 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 Oh, my God. How did the defender stop that? Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. mate. God. Man, them just. That's it. Oh, Ozil played it out. Last attack. And um, we're on. No, don't you dare shoot. Oh. Wendosi, lay him in, man. Finish Carabag nil, Arsenal three. Um, do you know what? That doesn't paint. Um, a picture of the game because um, there were spells in that where yeah we were poor and we could have easily lost that game I think once we got the second it kind of opened things up and we got the third we could have scored four or five but yeah do you know what it was really good in the sense that it's eight wins in a row now and um, what's weird about that is that we won 3-0 but Leno's man of the match in my opinion so um, yeah, mad, mad. But like I said, it's eight wins in a row. The journey was worth it. Um, it's been an absolutely brilliant trip. Um, massive shout out to the people of Azerbaijan for their hospitality and everything else because it's been superb, superb. And hopefully we will be back here in a few months time for the final, hopefully. Um, but we will wait and see. So let's get the players back. Let's uh, recuperate, let's get ready. And then it's Fulham on Sunday. Um, there will be a player ratings video tomorrow. Um, I should be back in the country by then. And then there will be a preview to the Fulham game, the match day vlog, and then the player ratings for that before we go to the international break. So it's been an eventful trip. I've really, really enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. Um, they didn't let me down, did they? I will see you lot soon. I'm out of here.